what they don't tell you about running a business to live. Kobe! So, there are so many things that nobody tells you when you want to open or run a business in Lagos. Everybody is all, ah, entrepreneurship is sweet. I, I, want, I don't want that 9 to 5 life. I want to own my time and everything. But see, eh, running a business in Lagos is difficult. It's peculiar, it's weird. There are so many things you can use to qualify it, but if I run a business in like Nigeria in general, you have to be strong. We recently, I'm, I'm just going to give you an example of something that just happened um, not too long ago. So, um, our we, we use this prepaid meter. We recently ran out of uh, units. Uh, we waited a couple of days, refunded it, refilled it, but lo and behold, the thing was not working. Um, we call, we've gone to Nepal office, I'm still calling them Nepal. We've gone to the distributor's um, office for like two, three weeks now and like no response. We'll come, we'll come. Oh, we were calling you, your number was not going. So many different excuses. And we've had to depend on using generator for the past month, over a month. And now, just yesterday, is it yesterday? I'll be there for Just the day before yesterday, we had to replace our generator because the one we had, the what did guy, that guy say happened to it? The casing, I'll be the housing, the housing broke, the housing broke. That is after he had come to fix the gen. We spent 13k the first time to fix the gen. Then wait, no, no, no. The first, the very first time when the gen landed, we paid 15k. Okay, so this was like the second time that we were fixing it. Paid 13k. Then the next time, the carburetor was not working. Then he brought it. Fix the. We gave him three five. I believe five k. Five 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 thousand five hundred. I hope you are calculating it. Thirteen plus five thousand five hundred. Um, he did that. Fix the carburetor. The gen came on. It was working. So he, he paid him his money. Paid him his bank. He started going. Five minutes. We started going. Come 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 come. Lights went off. And for us to discover that oh, casing one thing one thing one thing has broken. You asked me from where the thing broke. Anyways, we had to get a new generator. We had to, um, we had to, like, just sort ourselves out. And we keep going back to, to, to Nepal's office and they keep giving us one excuse or the other. So these are one of the very many challenges that you will face as a business owner in Lagos. You need to think about, um, you need to think about um, getting the work. You need to get, think about retaining your clients. You need to think about delivering. You need to think about internet. You need to think about power. You need to think about salaries. There are so many things that you need to consider before, during, and like, okay, before and during your entrepreneurship journey. So I would say it is not for the faint-hearted and like we really need to stop romanticizing the thing like I pretty much don't have a social life anymore because of this and um, yeah you need to be prepared for sacrifices compromises and people being disappointed people being angry with you it, it will eventually pass and you will eventually have that TED talk because I'm hoping to one day do a TED talk. And uh, yeah, this is all stuff that I'm compiling, experiences I'm compiling, and I'm preparing myself for that. So don't go into this blindsided.